Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to make a quick vlog. I haven't made a vlog in a while, and uh, I just wanted to let you guys know a few things. I joined the gym, trying to get my skinny on, um, and um, I have lost a few pounds, five to seven. It keeps going up and down. Um, we get up there every morning and go to the gym, and it's wearing on me. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, uh, we're trying, we're trying new machines and meeting with the trainer and, um, discovering muscles that haven't used in, like, ever or in a really long time. And, um, what else? Um, my, um, nephew-in-law, if you will, has been home and it's been nice to see him. I've seen him once because everybody wants to see him. And um, he's been home from the military, and uh, we hadn't seen him in uh, four months. But his family, his his wife, and his daughters have been with him for the last two weeks, and they're just loving on him. And uh, we had a barbecue for him the other day, and it went pretty good. We burnt a little chicken, and I messed up on my diet, ate a little potato salad, but it was okay. We had it out my mom and dad's house. And um, we also had like a little uh, Easter egg hunt, and that's what those pictures were of. They were of uh, a Easter egg hunt because um, my nephew-in-law will not be here for Easter, and I'm pretty sure he enjoyed seeing his baby girls running around looking for some Easter eggs. It was fun until they cried because we took the candy away. But um, they had a good time, and my mom and dad had a good time, you know, and um, my mom... She's been she's been doing good. My dad he's been a little bit under the weather. Last week it was my mom doing a little being under the weather, but they're good. Um, you know, whenever I go to my mom and dad's house, um, I always ask questions like, "Mom, Dad, was I spoiled?" And you know, they say yes because they said I had my brothers and sisters that would like cover for me so that I wouldn't get in trouble when I did things. You know. And, um, Daniel doesn't think I have discipline, you know, he thinks that I have, um, authority problems, which I probably do, whatever, okay? But whenever I think of, you know, a father and daughter's relationship, you know, um, I think about my dad, you know, I mean, I, even in that movie where Tia Leone and her father, they were hugging at the beach, you know, and the big wave comes over her. I think it was that movie was actually called Tidal Wave, and she goes, Daddy, I love you. You know, that movie just really touches home, because a mother-daughter, I'm sorry, a um, father-daughter relationship is so important. You know, it's important so that you know what type of person that you can be, you know. A father's support, a father's love is, you know, unlike anybody else's love, you know. No other other no other person in your life, no other man in your life is going to want the best for you. You know. Um, now let me rephrase it. No other man in your childhood life will love you and respect you and teach you more from their actions then your father. Um, there are so many people, there are so many fathers that just walk away from their children. But the fathers that come into play, that kind of take over that father role, when fathers have walked away, I have friends who have done that, you know, and they have shown to be wonderful fathers, you know, to children that weren't their blood children. And to one of my friends who had his very first baby girl, um, congratulations to my friend Ryan. Um, he and his wife, Karen, had a beautiful baby girl, Lyric. Um, I've seen the pictures. They're very, very lucky. And um, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to have a wonderful life with her. So congratulations. So congratulations, and um, I hope you have a good day. Uh, me and Jenny will be working out.
And um, so that was it. Me and Daniel been working out. Me and my father's relationship is awesome. Me and my mother's relationship is awesome. And if you have a problem with your mother or father's relationship, you really should work on it because those people are the ones who gave birth to you. Those are the people who love you. Those are the people who were there with you at the hospital and who have taken care of you your whole life. And that's a part about getting mentally fit and physically fit is to start off with a good foundation. Not only your body, but your mind, but even with your relationships in life. Bye.